Previously, the European scientists, they believed that the Earth was the center of the solar system and the universe. And all the planets, as well as the moon and the sun, it revolved around the Earth. This was called as geocentrism. And this was believed since the time of Ptolemy in the second century BC till as late as 16th century until Nicholas Copernicus in 1512, he propounded the heliocentric theory of the planetary motion. And he said, it is the sun which is the center of the solar system. And all the planets, as well as the Earth, it revolves around the sun. And later on, a German scientist by the name of Johannes Kepler, in 1609, he wrote in his book by the name Astronomia Novia, that not only do the planets and the Earth, they revolve around the sun, but they also rotate about their own axis. And when I was in school, I passed my school in 1982, about more than 25 years back. There I too read that the planets and the Earth, they revolve around the sun, and the planets and the Earth, they rotated about their own axis. And the whole solar system, also in the galaxy it revolved, including the sun, but the sun did not rotate about its own axis. In this context, the sun was stationary. But when I read the verse of the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 33, which says, It is Allah who has created the night and the day, the sun and the moon, each one traveling in orbit with its own motion. So the Quran says, the sun and the moon, Besides revolving, they also rotate about their own axis. The Arabic word used here is yasbahun, derived from the Arabic word sabaha, which describes the motion of a moving body. If I use this Arabic word yasbaha for a person who's moving on the floor, it will not mean that he's rolling, it will mean he's either walking or running. If I use the same word for a person in the water, it will not mean he's floating, it will mean he's swimming. Similarly, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the same word for a celestial body, it does not mean that it is flying in the air, it means it is moving along with its own rotation. It's rotating about its own axis. So Quran says the sun and the moon, besides revolving, it also rotates about its own axis. And today, science has discovered that even the sun rotates. Since we can't see the sun directly, you get blinded if you see directly. If you have an equipment and have the image of the sun on a tabletop, we find that there are spots in the sun. And it takes about 25 days for the spots to complete one rotation, indicating that the sun takes approximately 25 days to complete one rotation. Imagine when I was in school, I was taught the sun was stationary, it didn't rotate about one axis. And the Quran mentioned 14 years ago that it rotates. And now, alhamdulillah, most of the schools have incorporated that the sun also rotates.